I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about five reasons why I think you should start reading The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. Now, as you may know, I'm reading all four of these books for Yalk because Maggie's going to be there and to be honest, I don't want to get spoiled waiting in line. So let's get started with my little list for today. The first reason is the characters. Now, there's a something about the way Maggie Stiefvater writes characters that just makes them jump off the page. I feel like every single character could just walk in my door and they'd be a real person and you know how sometimes when you read about a character you're a little bit like really really I don't know why but in these books it just doesn't happen for me every single of those characters is so well developed so well grounded and throughout the four books well I'm still reading the fourth one please don't spoil me but throughout the four books all of them are kind of developed more and more so you kind of get very attached to them the second reason why you should be reading these books is the friendship. <sighs> I want to be part of this squad. I really do. Like, just adopt me. I'll, I'll contribute in some weird kind of way. Do you need somebody that speaks Dutch or French or something like that? I mean, I'm your girl. Like, seriously. But all things aside, I love the friendships in these books. I love how kind of nearly sibling-like they are. It's just people wanting to do whatever they want to do for anybody and it, it, there's just something about it that really makes me very happy because in a way it reminds me of the friendships I have with my best friends and again it's just so realistic even if there's all these magical things going on it just kind of grounds you to reality and I love that about these books. Reason number three and this is in no particular order by the way because I could not just kind of make a ranking. It's too difficult. But reason number three for me is the world building. As with the characters, Max Stiefvater has a way with words. It's as if she just drops you into Henrietta and it's so vivid and it's so all-encompassing. You just kind of dream your way into the world. <sighs> and you know, I like, I like a good world. Especially if they're inhabited by awesome characters, so... And on top of that, it doesn't only talk about the teenage main characters. There are families in there, and who else wants to live at 300 Foxway? Because I definitely do. I love every single thing about that household. I just, yes. I just want to live there. It'd be amazing. I'm just gonna have to build my own 300 Foxway, because, you know, that's what we do. Reason number four you should be reading this is magic mystery and history. We're looking for a dead king, it's a house full of psychics, there's an absent dad, there's mystery and mayhem and I don't know about you but I got sucked into this like nobody's business. I thought it was gonna take me a while to kind of get into it because of the writing style but no 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 it just went straight in there. There's scrying and there's tarot and there's danger and I just there's just so many awesome things in there that I would want in a book that I don't even, I, I just can't explain it. I'm being very eloquent today, aren't I? And the final reason you should be reading these books is Blue, who is our main character, even though we do get to see lots of things from other characters' points of view. But there's something about her that I love. She is sassy, yet strong, yet independent, but not in like an annoying kind of way. There's just something about her that makes me really like her. And I love how she is like the norm, well, normal person in her household. There, there's something about the way she kind of deals with everything going on that I really like. She's just, yeah, I just really like her. Also, I really like yogurt, so. So that's it for today, you guys. Have any of you read The Raven Cycle before? Do let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite book. So far for me, it's Blue Lily Lily Blue, but I haven't finished The Raven King yet, so that might all change. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.